All right, what's up guys? We are at the Carolina Reaper Challenge doing a 50K race today. Uh, this one's a little interesting. It's like a 2.6 mile loop and you have 40 minutes to do it. They start it on the dot every 40 minutes. So if you're doing 30 minutes, you get a 10 minute break. If you're doing 35, you get a five minute break. And if you don't finish it in 40, you're disqualified. Actually, if you don't finish it, finish it in 40, you can eat one of these Carolina Reaper peppers and start again, which doesn't sound like too much fun. But uh, it's a hot day. It's probably about 89 degrees. I'm already sweating. And uh, we're about to get these uh, 31 miles in. Glad Pablo's here to record all this today. And uh, we'll see what happens. I uh, feel, feel pretty good about it, um, but it's gonna be hot. And it's supposed to rain around two, so that'll add another interesting element uh, to it. But uh, as we always say, seeking discomfort, that's what we're all about. So we're gonna do that today. Tails. We finished and I am broken. <laughs> 
It ended up being 32.86 miles. It took like six hours and 38 minutes. I wanna say it was like 11, 11 minute, 36 second pace or something like that. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that was the most difficult thing I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, after the second round of 2.62 or whatever mile loop, after the second round and the heat of the day, I was thinking to myself, there's, <laughs> there is uh, a very slim chance that this is gonna happen. Um, but just kept pushing and just kept <laughs> getting back up and, and starting the next round. I think the most difficult, I mean, obviously the heat was a big factor, but the most difficult thing was the brakes. You know, you're, you're, you got 40 minutes before you're gonna have to start you know, the next 2.62 mile loops. So sometimes you'd have like a, you know, 10, nine minute, 10, nine minute break. But sometimes I didn't, like once I had like a three minute or four minute break, um, and I averaged probably somewhere between like a five to nine minute break. But by the time you cross the finish for that loop, get over to the tent, you're trying to, you know, hydrate you're trying to put some you know cold rags or cold towels in your head you're trying to you know load back up your your water and your other hydration stuff you're trying to eat something you're trying to you know get your socks and shoes changed out a couple of times you're trying to do all these things plus you're just trying to like regain some energy and it was freaking difficult. Um, that was probably the toughest part is stopping and then starting back again. There was a couple of times where um, I was like 10, 15 seconds late back to the start starting line to get started for that next loop just because we were, you know, I was trying to you know, tie my shoes and, you know, get my stuff loaded up. And uh, so that was that was a uh, interesting kind of mind game and added a whole nother element to it. Um, but I, to be honest, I had zero idea there would be so many hills. I mean, that course was 50% hills. One of them was like so freaking steep, um, which just took it to a whole nother level. I haven't been running on hills at all. I run on, over on the Swamp Rabbit Trail here in Greenville. It's as flat as flat can be. I don't know what the total like elevation, whatever, uh, change. I can check that uh, later, but it was absolutely intense. Um, but you know, five rounds, six rounds, seven rounds, eight rounds. It was just a constant mental battle, this mental dialogue going on in my head with just, just keep moving. Just don't stop. Just keep moving. Just don't stop. Uh, and I kept at one point thinking to myself, like, I could get injured out here because I don't know if I'm capable of quitting. But there were so many times where things were cramping up and my hips were super tight and my body heat was just insanely high. Um, you know, the sun was just beating down on me. And um, so that was, that was tough. But man, I feel so incredible right now having finished it. I don't feel incredible right now. I feel broken right now. Uh, but mentally, I feel so, um, so grateful to have been able to to experience that challenge. Uh, it was really cool having Dan Waldschmidt there. That definitely was some added motivation. It was Dan that I sat down with for coffee like two months ago. And he was like, man, I think you need to go do something crazy, some type of physical challenge. And he said, what sounds impossible to you right now? I was like, well, the marathon sounds impossible. And since that coffee eight weeks ago, I've now run two ultra marathons. And uh, it's just a really cool um, story that I'm super, super proud of. And um, so yeah, this is, this is probably gonna be a pretty cool video. I know Pablo got a lot of footage. I did an Instagram story after each round. Um, so I can't wait to see this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, now we got to figure out what the next challenge is. Hopefully something with less hills, but maybe further distance. And I uh, appreciate you guys joining me on this journey.